Hi, this is Bonnie, and to start this project, um, we first want to cut a circle the size of our outer embroidery hoop out of felt. And you'll want to do this before you cover it with your crochet. Um, we also want to cut a circle out of some type of rigid material. I'm using magnetic sheeting because I just have some on hand. You can use cardboard or some type of uh, plastic. Uh, sheeting or even cork sheeting, um, whatever works for you, just make sure it's rigid enough to stay firm. Now to do your crochet, I'm using a cotton yarn and I've got a loop on my crochet hook. And I'm going to reach under my uh, embroidery hoop and then come over across the top, grab my yarn again and pull it through both loops. Again, reaching under my embroidery hoop, over the top, grabbing my yarn, pulling it through both loops. Basically doing a single crochet around my um, outer embroidery hoop. So you'll want to keep on scooting the stitches towards the top um, where your embroidery hoop has the screw. Um, you may want to remove the screw to get it out of your way. Basically, just continue doing this all the way around and scooting the stitches closer together so that they're nice and um, tight and firm and even. And just keep on going, and this is what it'll look like when it's done. Do not connect your um, crochet at the top. We'll be doing that later at the end because you'll want to be able to remove your inner hoop. And and place it back in. So there we go, we've got the outer um, hoop covered with our crochet. Um, you can either put your screw back in later on or you can string some ribbon or something through there if you'd rather have a bow or something. So the next thing we're going to do is stitch out our embroidery design. And I have chosen um, a Paisley design, and I have used uh, Imbrilliance embroidery software to size it to my little round hoop for my pin cushion. And I've used a Terawaye st stabilizer with um, a temporary spray adhesive. And now I have my design stitched out. I've also stitched it out on a generous piece of fabric so that I can I cut it with plenty of room um, to work with my embroidery hoop. So now we're going to tear off our stabilizer. Once our stabilizer is um, removed, then we cut our um, fabric to the size that we're going to be able to work through our embroidery hoop. I allowed about three inches beyond my uh, hoop size. And it just packed a handful of stuffing into the center of my fabric and pushed it through my outer hoop that I um, covered with crochet. And then you're just going to kind of want to work with it and get it evenly distributed um, so that you don't have you know, any big wrinkles in it. Kind of manipulate the stuffing until you get it to a place where you're happy with how it's centered. Then you're going to place the inside hoop from behind and work the outside hoop over the top, making sure that you still have some fabric that's sticking out all the way around because that's what's going to secure your um, pin cushion in there. And then just kind of keep on working with it until it's nice and even and uh, looks like a pin cushion. Um, at this point, you can um, put your screw back in. You will have to uh, squeeze it pretty hard, you know, to allow for the crochet and whatnot to get it in there. Um, we're also, you can see how I put the hoop on the back. And it's all secure. Now we're going to trim off the excess fabric. So you're going to want to gently trim off all the excess fabric as close to the embroidery hoop as possible. Get it all cleaned up. Be careful not to cut your crochet. And 
once you have that all uh, trimmed up nice and clean, then you're going to want to grab your piece of felt that we cut earlier and place it on the back so that it covers um, the trimmed off edge. And then you're just going to want to get a needle and thread and neatly sew all around the edge. This gives the bottom of the pincushion just a nice finished look to it. And then I, I like things that look nice and finished. So that's how I finished the bottom and it turned out really nice. So just sew that all the way around. And then um, the last thing I did was make some little flowers with quarter inch ribbon. So you're going to fold the ribbon uh, up on itself. This is about an eight inch length and then across to the right and then down and then across to the left. You're going to fold it up again, and then back over to the right, and then back down, and then back over to the left. And you're just going to keep on going in this manner um, until you've used most of your, um, like I said, I used an 8 inch length to start with. So it's quite a bit of folding back and forth. So we'll just keep on going. This will create a nice little ribbon uh, flower that we can sew on the pin cushion. This is um, optional. You don't uh, need to do this if you don't want to add the little, the little flowers. But I thought they were really cute and this, I thought this was really a simple way to, to make a little flower. Um, can be used in many projects and so now you just grab uh, the ends and you can see how it folds out take a hold of one tail and then just pull on it and it kind of pulls inside itself and creates a little flower just like that now you're going to want to turn it upside down and um, tie a little knot on the back side Can be a little tricky, but you get a knot in there to secure it, um, hold it in place, and then uh, once you do that, what I did is took a needle and thread and ran it through the knot from the top to the bottom of the flower just to add some extra security because the knot doesn't always hold it. Or you can use a glue gun and put a little bit of glue on the back. You can also attach it to your um, pin cushion either using glue or sewing. I stitched mine on. And so this is our finished pin cushion. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thank you so much for watching.